Whether it's thinking about how Fred Flintstone would react to George Jetson, or whether Batman would beat Superman in a fight, the lunchroom of every elementary school and beyond has long been ripe with discussion of these fantasy crossover events. Avengers, and to some extent Avengers Age of Ultron, has long been the gold standard for this in modern movie making, but there is a new king in town. In Infinity War, more characters than ever are thrown together, and with backgrounds ranging from billionaire industrialist playboy to master of the mystic arts, from super-powered high school student to antennae alien empath, and each with their own interests, dialect, and character foibles. With so many faces, it was important for the film to give each a chance to breathe. Thankfully, Marvel did just that with a near three-hour running time, and the small matter that Infinity War is, in many ways, only the first half of an even longer story. So when the two Peters, Parker and Quill, expound on their love of 80s cinema with an extended joke about whether Footloose is the greatest movie of all time, it makes sense for what we know of their characters. When Iron Man jokes about Hulk's lack of transformative power embarrassing him in front of the wizard, Tony Stark's snark, Bruce Banner's nevishness, and Doctor Strange's arrogance all inform the scene. Each new team and the interactions that spring from them are a joy, not because we as the audience expect every point or counterpoint in the conversation, but because it is evident as we watch, and even more so after the fact, that the writers in Marvel have done the work to make sure that each character is understood, both in the moment and in the larger context of the film. This latter point is no more prominently established than in the scene where Thor has sacrificed almost everything to restart the Star Forge and needs his axe in order to survive the trial. There, Groot, who had spent the previous two hours of the film's running time playing up his teenager qualities while also playing up Defender, grows and sacrifices a limb to complete the handleless axe. Every character in Infinity War gets their moment in the sun. Going into the film, my primary concern was an overabundance of characters and the likelihood that most would be overshadowed by a core few. That fear was alleviated in the best way possible, with good writing and careful attention to detail.